A year later, when the city and the country needed to express grief, they turned to Andrea for a voice. It was a time of great sadness and emotion. One of the saddest commemorations I've ever taken part in. Andrea sang at the memorial service in the smoking ruins of Ground Zero. In 2002, Andrea separated from his wife, Enrica, but has stayed close to his two sons. What I like the most is the idea of having them with me. I think it's interesting for them to see their father's work, to see what I do, to understand what sacrifices have to be made. And also, for them to see the more positive aspects. Now age 49, Andrea performs 40 concerts worldwide and at least one staged opera a year. To maintain the quality of his performance while on tour, he sticks to a strict routine. On hand to help is Carlo Bernini, his musical assistant for over 24 years. his voice uh, to help the conductor for the last uh, details and then uh, to looking for the situation in general. There is only one way for me to prepare. I spend the day in silence in my own room. I listen to the music, I read it. And then, three or four hours before the concert, I go to the theater or the venue. And gradually, gradually, I begin to use my voice, to warm it up. I do one or two little tryouts, and that's it. I'm ready. The voice mirrors a person's experiences, both physically and in the way it is presented. I do everything I can to keep it in the best possible condition. Technique is a fundamental part of singing, especially as time goes on. Over the years, technique becomes indispensable. Taking the stage with Andrea is renowned soprano Dame Kiri Tekanoa. He's a lovely performer. From my point of view, you know, he's a singer and he sings his music beautifully. We've done, just done um, the, uh, the duet from the finale of Act One in Bohème. Also performing is the celebrated flautist, Sir James Galway. 
If he requires a flute player, I would be his man. He has a great time because he really enjoys singing everything. For him, singing is his life. If a man of my age gets up on stage, he's either an artist or an idiot. I prefer to think I'm the former. When not on tour, Andrea comes home to Tuscany. He now lives in the beach resort, Forte de Marmi. The sea air ideally suits his vocal cords, essential to a man who must rehearse every day, even when at home. We are like athletes, and every day we have to practice. Otherwise, uh, when there is a, the performance, there is panic. There's a careful balance to be struck. Too much practice is harmful as well. You cannot study singing for eight or ten hours a day as you would the violin or the piano. If your vocal cords deteriorate, you cannot buy new ones. The voice is an instrument with the unique attribute that it is an instrument of flesh and blood. Andrea has a new love, Veronica. Happiness is hard to reach. But right now, Andrea can say he's a very happy person. When I'm free, I listen to a lot of music. I read, and I arrange dinners with my friends. That's who I miss the most. Dinners are the only way we can get together. If someone asked me where Andrea gets his energy from, I would say from the love of all the friends he has around. He's very lucky. Music is as much a part of his home life as his career. The house is full of instruments, and he plays them all. Those who get to hear him singing all the time, like me, are so lucky. When he wakes up and sings at 5 a.m., it's not as enjoyable. But when he sings for you at sunset, he touches your soul. 